Wait, we got a game? Bro. <sighs> Novelty accounts aren't even funny anyway. Merrick, thanks so much for the tier one and the 21 months! Soon, indeed, as we get into the game immediately, we're uh, investigating this opponent who has a week and a half old account and two quits. I'm very unamused. Anyway, uh, first seat right behind that new account. We're also up against Bog the Club and Arlock. Bog rated 298, Arlock rated 377, and this account is rated 317 with a couple of quits, so their skill is probably a little higher. That will be my presumption. Wow, and we have the bench. The almighty Carpenter's bench. This thing is insane. Um, Acorns Basket, New Purchase, Potato Ridger, yeah, we're passing the Wood Slide, we're gonna pass Dolly's Mother, we're gonna pass Cubby Hole, because we believe in the bench. Stallright, Young Farmer, Bedmaker. Tinsmith Master would be an interesting wheel for Young Farmer here. Young Farmer has to be a little worse in this meta, but I don't have to play it super early. I guess early Young Farmer is maybe worse. Maybe. If I got to keep this whole pack, it would be interesting. Young Farmer, Millwright, Tinsmith Master would be fun. Not necessarily good. Um, I'm just trying to remember this pack. More to memorize in draft 10. Acquirer, hello. Acquirer Boar Spear? Seed Almanac? Hello? You know what's sometimes annoying about Acquirer is when Major flips late and you don't get to buy your cookery early? How about if your cookery is this? Uh, not a bed maker combo unless you have a room discount. Better if someone flips burgers, it won't be me. Stable Planner is... <laughs> Stable Planner... Carpenter's Bench looks at Stable Planner and laughs. Jesus Christ, Carpenter's Bench is insane. Uh, Muckrake, interesting. Debt Security, mildly interesting for later in this draft. Seed Almanac. Straw Manure could be maybe useful. But this is promising. My food should be amazing. Oh, you know what straw manure is probably really good with is potato ridger from pack one. This is, yeah, a non hearth acquirer game, possibly. It might be hearth later, but if I can get one more piece of support, cause boar spear, you don't get to eat your bread pigs on it, so. 
It's not automatic. Um, what are you supposed to do? Not quit if you're losing? Yeah, Phil, it's a strange concept for some people. <laughs> Bland apologizing for beating me with craft teacher cesspit. That craft teacher was stupid. Why is bench better than wood slide? Bench is better than everything. Hello, CW. Oh, CW, I'm sorry. Merrick beat you to being first. Unfortunate. Um, I mean, I was happy with Oriental Fire... Or, Boar Spear, but Oriental Fireplace is just better. <laughs> Pig owner looks pretty good. I could overrate stock protector again. Bargain hunter and roast master in the game makes me kind of want that lutenist. Even though that's silly. Well, I'll take the oriental fireplace. That's fine. I don't need potato ridger anymore. I might not even use Boar Spear. Um, yeah, this is fine. Patron is going to be good for someone, I assume. Um, we're still, like, new enough with the new cards that I don't completely trust... my opponents to have taken something amazing over Acquirer. Against, like, higher-rated opponents, later in development of the meta, I would be more scared of getting Acquirer second. Especially with stuff like Craft Teacher and Freshman plus Bake Enabler uh, in this set. But, uh, as usual, we don't want to be afraid of things we haven't seen. Unless, uh, we have very good reason to. Uh, Wolf is... <laughs> Wolf Acquirer Boar Spear? Busted. Uh, Pipe Smoker is like... It would be fine if this was like Draft 7 and Wolf the wife and stable sergeant didn't exist. This mandolin is tempting. Mandolin acquirer is kind of like museum caretaker. <laughs> so that's the stupidest thing I've ever said. Um, Having Boar Spear with Oriental Fireplace is very funny. I very much enjoy that. Um, is this just Wolf because it's giga easy to proc everything? I mean, it's already easy to proc everything without Acquirer. I don't really need Wolf. But it's definitely not going to hurt, and it's going to be very playable. And it's not like the other things are really giving me stuff I don't have. Like, I could go Clay Deliveryman. Least exciting idea. Kind of want to take Reed Belt, but I have so much to do early. There's nothing wrong with Chick Stable, except that I already have a lot of food. Uh, I'll take Reed Belt. I'll take Reed Belt. Hey, random NPC. There is no Occidental Fireplace. It's unfortunate. Wolf as an occupation seems silly. Do you think the card artist realized that? <laughs> Best card art in the game. 
Um, yeah, the Ridger came back, but I really don't think I need it. The Water Trough seems silly. Cubby Hole seems kind of silly. I guess this is just new purchase as a veg source? Seems crazy. I don't need any of this. Oven Sight seems annoyingly difficult to get. My Fireplace Boar Spear is going to be better than buying a hearth just to proc Oven Sight. Though, I mean, the Oven Sight combo is here. It is literally here. I didn't notice Cookery Outfitter the first time around, because the other occupations usually have more words on them. Um, Tinsmith Master is still fine. Tinsmith Master would still be fine. Millwright, I don't really think I need. I don't think I can do Cookery Outfitter Oven Sight. It, I don't, yeah, yeah. Housebook Master is an okay pick. Stable Planner just comes back. Gritter is not procced by Stable Manure, or Straw Manure. Not that that matters, I can only pick one. This is very clearly Stable Planner. I'm not even counting how many cards I have that say Accumulation Space, but it's not many. Um... Debt security is still fine. I don't have any plow help. I would like some plow help. I don't believe in Cobb. I'm sorry. Okay, so the order of my occupations is, uh, not easy. How do I actually want to run this? We're in the first seat. The boar spear is so much less important right now. Um, now that I have oriental fireplace. If major flips early... go young farmer to clay acquirer fireplace do i need to stretch for that extra young farmer grain not really uh is this a moonshine situation this might be a moonshine situation I don't really think it's a woodcraft situation. There is a lot of stuff going on here. It's if if it's major, I probably just open acquirer. It'll be fine. If we don't open major or that is if major isn't round 1, I could consider 
Reed stone to wood. Acquirer start boar spear. That might actually be the better play. Well, it's major. Um, Oriental fireplace is just going to be better than boar spear? Question mark. Yeah. Well, Vincent is nice to us today. Round one major from the first seat. That's the dream for Acquirer. From other seats, I would definitely consider two clay first move. Yeah, I mean, having Oriental Fireplace on top of this is just really strong. There's not a snap occupation here, which is very interesting in this meta. Music slaps. Glad you like it, Trey. I am not very conscious about music choice once I downloaded the big list of stuff. Equipper. Okay. Maybe considering quitting. Ugh, yeah was fully expecting to clay block. I was preparing other options, but yeah, it was... It would have been an overplay for sure. Like, way too defensive. I'm happy to get more Ox out. Like, Stable Planner or Young Farmer would have been a, a hit to the Acquirer tempo, but not really. It wouldn't have been that bad. And I get to stay start. Amazing. Arlock plowed. <laughs> well, I'm only going to take one of the good five actions because... Definitely majoring second. Though the other option is to major now and start Oriental. Into what? Yeah, the problem is into what? It is worth two food. Immediately. And then the likelihood I get to open four wood is pretty high. Reedstone is just good though. I think this is just better. It's Bog who gets two premium actions. That was gonna be true regardless of which action I majored with. Well, actually, it's Arlock also who gets one now. Um, I think I'm okay with that. This is a bit like a round two man servant. It's more than a bit like one. <laughs> It is strictly better than one. <laughs> uh, and it's actually more like around one manservant. But strictly better. 
after you play the three cards. We... Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Um, now we can proceed to get a room or more and our food is good forever. Opening was Acquirer 2 Clay. Nobody takes Start Player, but I go Major, Fireplace, Start Oriental. And we're just there. We made it. Um, Bog got to take three wood, two reed. Arlock gets to do patron lutenist, and, uh, the other player gets to reed stone, fourth action. Probably two wood minor, but could be a variety of things. Oh, just a plow. I'm happy to take four wood. I mean, the amount of food I have is so powerful. I might be acquiring reed in round five. On top of reed belt or something like that. Obviously, breeding the cows would be super cool. And I do have this carpenter's bench. But I really have so much food that... Um, accelerating more into food via young farmer or bench and breed. I mean, I don't think I can quite afford breeding stage one. I assume I don't get reed stone here, but an auk is definitely fine. Bog gets to play expensive Ock here. Nice second move of round three. Has the wife. Uh, let's see. I did pass a wood slide. And a bed maker. There's also a midwife in this draft. Arlock, I would expect fishes, but I'm not sure. No one needs food. I should start all of stage one to punish the smurf. If I didn't have young farmer. <laughs> I am uh, a little scared of a potential parlor or carpenter's hammer from Bog, but again, can't be too afraid of cards we didn't see. We just should be responsible enough to uh, threaten a room quickly enough, which, you know, won't super matter if Bog start players and Arlock doesn't take two read. Should these things should happen though?
Not guaranteed, of course. I just got to stay start. Um, so I could take the three wood. That looks really good. Three wood, start reed belt, buy a reed. Room stable. Five, ten, six, four, two. Yeah, I can still keep buying cows in round six and round seven that way. There's also the sheep, which I have tempo on at 50% boost. Bog with two reed. I think I have to start reed belt now. Or if start happens in front of me, I can read stone now. That is also good. But we can absolutely not let Bog get away with a uh, start plus room discount here. Okay, yeah, we're good. And I'm not sure... Well, we'll see if Bog gets uh, trapped by not expecting the read acquire. But the read acquire is definitely a thing at the right time. And we're about to be at the right time. Uh, the fact that I got to eat these cows for five starting in round two um, has really been amazing for my game here. Just to like... Toss two food away on reed belt early. Not be afraid of buying a reed early. Um, and if Bog doesn't build here, then I just get to have the first build of the game in round five, which is always a dream, especially in this format. Um, there is the question of, would I like to build a stable with this first room? Oh yeah, unless this is wreck carp or like Lumber Virtuo, it would be a weird time to Lumber Virtuo, so um, I, I like this a lot for me. <laughs> Stock Protector for Bog? Interesting. Alright, well... Exactly, this is a dream. Uh, I don't even feel bad about putting the 4th player in 4th so much. <laughs> Normally I would have more sympathy for that, but... I don't know. I got past all of these cards. Yeah, first build in 5 is just... always perfect. Uh, major minor here, just a fireplace, that's fine. I wanted the the boost from a sheep pile also, but it's kind of unnecessary here. I would actually like to eat this cow. Okay, I think if it's grow then I don't build the stable. And if it's not grow, I do build the stable. Looking to second action sheep. I'm expecting four wood for bog. Our lock, I would expect reed stones, but it could be many things. And maybe four clay. It is reno, that's fine. Surprise, I'm buying a reed. Uh, 
Acquirer, man. So good. <laughs> no beggar to make it an even playing field? No beggar. That is not a carpenter's parlor. Stable decision is um, for breeding in stage two. Oh my god, and I get the nine food action here, so I can be breeding cows instead of sheep. No weighing, man. Mini pasture? This day couldn't get better. This day cannot get better. I guess I didn't need the stable, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't even need mini pasture, geez. Oh, my game is so busted. Oh, my game is so busted. I better not lose this one. Uh, I have a stable planner coming in next round. But uh, also Luminous Empty. <laughs> a spade is affected by Luminous Empty. You once had a stream with a choir oriental guest room and somehow lost? Oh, Rainier. Oh, Rainier. I have a wood barterer for Arlock. Solving the reed issues. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear ya. But the amount of sauce I have is, uh, like, remaining is very strong still, you know? As Lutonist gets its first proc here. Don't have to start for grow. Amazing. I can still grow with new purchase. We buy cows, because these sheep are not what I'm breeding. These sheep are just six latent food. <laughs> uh, Oriental Fireplace. You know how with Acquirer you can be sad that you grew to three and now you're only netting up one food off your cows? <laughs> I'm netting two food off my cows still. <laughs> and more like four and a half if you consider breeding. Which happens every other round in the mid game. Oh my god. Okay. The wolf coming in for the pig owner is going to be so cute, too. I could play Moonshine right now. Now that would be... getting a little ahead of myself, I think. It also looks like my chances to build my second room in clay could be high, depending on what happens with this six clay. Uh, still have an outside chance of hitting eight clay, which would be insane. And if I don't hit eight clay, that is also totally fine. Um, I think I forgot Tinsmith Master doesn't help when you have stables. So this was not a very good pick. in retrospect.
I think I'm just gonna let Mini Pastor die in my hand. Um, I'd rather not pass that along. It just seems better for it to die in my hand than the other options. <laughs> no, look, I've got sauce. I have sauce. Oh, we have an apiary. And there was a seed almanac. Uh, Reedstone is okay. I could push out another Ock here. It is not quite the right time for Wolf, even though new purchase proccing Wolf is hilarious and good. Um, maybe I should plow. Uh, Reedstone's probably better. Can I just get Reedstone next round, though? How's this gonna go? I don't think Wolf offers me clever enough lines to get a wood off of it super efficiently. I have three for the Acquirer, so I'm actually six out of six. So if I play an Auk, I do also need something like a Reedstone. Um, and that means I'm just new purchasing a Veg and probably eating it right back. Yeah, I would have loved to plow and get Young Farmer going faster, if I even play Young Farmer. Um, that sounds like police. I can't believe I got the sheep action. I mean, I kind of can, but getting that nine food action was so huge. What I'm hoping happens is um, I'm threatening start for a build. This does look to give Bog two grows in a row. Because Bog's the one who double built in a build based queue. So we're both benefiting a lot from Bog not building in stage one. It is funny, because that's where we think Wood Slide Hammer would be. But Bog did take... Oh, okay. Six Clay is Chick Stable and a Reno. Wait, no, not a Reno. You still don't need the Clay to Reno if you're Wood Slide. CW had a crazy game. Good old Draft 10 things. Yes. I'm getting a skip on the Tea House here. I think I'm just happy to take three wood and then plow or ock. Mm. 
maybe four clay. Taking all this wood before playing the bench is not completely ideal. I'm not gonna have well tempo in any way here. Or at least it doesn't look like it. Bog is uh, three food fishing with reed stone gone. Ah, right. Uh, so I get to start build. And Arlock is getting completely frickin' destroyed in this growth queue. That's what it looks like. So that was an interesting tea house skip tactically to not reveal Virtuo. So with both Ox spaces open and only having one Ox played, that was a added tactical benefit to a skip there. So that was kind of cool to see. And new purchase did nothing, but it's okay. It is more than okay. I'm still in great shape here. With one Carpenter's Bench proc, I can double breed with that stable helping. And I'm just cycling cows for now. If I got three sheep with uh, a late action, that is worth looking into. Um, it is possible Arlock would do a stable block, actually. They have bartering, uh, wood barterer. Wood barterer does mean stable blocks are always on the menu. Um, I don't know. I do not know what my best sequence is here. Maybe it's just plow. Maybe it's the three sheep still.
I think the chance that Wood Barterer goes for a stable block is just too darn high. Um, Bog taking three wood. I mean, this outcome is fine. I mean, if I get Plow here, my game's still amazing, and I might end up playing that mini pasture. And I might, like, not play Young Farmer. <laughs> Aren't watching the tourney? I was watching some of it this morning. I didn't watch any of the first four. But I have been a little less into American sports over the last couple years. Been watching a lot more Premier League. Your alma mater's on, okay. Which one, if you don't mind me asking? And obviously, if you don't feel like sharing to the world, that's very fair. <laughs> Uh, it looks like I'm getting plow here. Oh my god. I'm gonna be, like, fully farming here. U of I? Okay. As a Chelsea fan? <laughs> yeah. You have to be smart with money in sports. Ooh, a harvest house. Always like seeing a nice harvest house. Uh, and they will have so tempo on me. So, uh, a move I might be doing here is two stone instead of build. Because Bog has shown that they don't have much food. And... I think I want to force purple into the well or so choice. Virginia's, like, won a championship in the last five years. I don't want to hear any of that. <laughs> I know standards can be high, but... <laughs> it was around 12 quick from them 21 hours ago, yeah. I mean, 67% rep says enough. On its own. I'm really going to be ditching Young Farmer here, huh? That's wild. Go Liverpool. Esoteric! Thanks so much for the Prime in the seven months. I, I do enjoy watching Liverpool. Um, real ones? I, I'm sorry if your team is under such terrible mismanagement. Um, okay, so the, the big deal here is build and be ready to start, or take two stone to threaten well, um, and so if I don't get to sow first action, that is, if purple does, then I can take the well in response. Uh, and it's not like two stone is bad. It's not amazing. Um, Bog is now fed off of the wife, and a forest well. Next round board looks a little too good to be fighting for grow. And my game is just so amazing. Alright, I don't need to grow if I'm setting up two breeding pairs and two crops sown. I have decided. Purple has a cool name, they do not. It is not cool to me if it is a novelty account, one of many 
that someone makes when they're a quitter and just keeps cycling through accounts. And it seems pretty likely that that's what their identity is. Right, yes. All right, well, I'm threatening all the things. And that's a very fun position to be in. Potato Ridger shows up. I think I prefer sewing to the well, but I'm just going to be told which one I get. And it'll be fine. I feel such power. I mean, <laughs> look at all the things I can do here. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. I'm not gonna get everything, but I'm gonna get a lot of the things. I regret none of my decisions so far. Oh, we're getting the well. Interesting. Interesting. They had so much stone for so long. I thought they were a lot more locked on the well. Four wood for bog instead of start, given I haven't built a room yet. It does seem like a good time to mini pasture now. And I probably just have to. I don't think I get to build. But I will still build next round, which is in time to not need to start for grow in round 11. So if I don't get build, I take the big stack, so nothing's left on the board when I have to build first next round. Oh wow. Okay. Nope, I am just getting almost everything here. And the almost is having to take the well instead of sewing. <laughs> oh, this game is so good. My game is so good. Oh, I forgot Bog had another move. Um, well, yeah, I forgot they had another move on Stock Protector, but they just read stone. I guess they could still be the wood slide player. As, uh, is this a potato ridger option coming in for Arlock? Looks like it. Nice. Oh, and, uh, Apiary sows that too.
You think that was a good trade for me? Yeah, I agree max crops won't be too bad on one so, but the tempo of having a so would have opened up ovens and such. Um that I would have had tempo on, I think. So the well is not necessarily... Like, it doesn't have zero opportunity cost. The opportunity cost is probably like a stone oven, but... It's fine. Everything's more than fine here, in case anyone was wondering. Uh, it looks like Bog has the inside track on 8 clay. Which means if they have wood slide hammer, they should probably throw it in the trash. 8 clay gets them to 18. Reno for 4. Pottery 2 is 6. Room is 11. And they still have 7 for pottery scoring. <laughs> if they don't eat any. I am breeding eight food. Yeah, rarely do you want to throw a uh, wood slide in the trash, but I think this would be the moment to. The bench. Start player. Ugh. Do not like that move. Turn rest plow. Not playing moonshine. We are not playing moonshine. Um... Sometimes I joke about 8 clay being nothing. Ain't no way I get 8 clay here. <sighs> there we go. This feels more accurate. Um, two wood is great. Plow is more than fine. Uh, playing wolf this round would be excellent. My game is just incredible. Hey, Gagneto. We are Marsing as it finally got into beta today. There is the Reno with pottery, though, if this is wood slide, it's, uh, well, we'll see. Uh, if Arlock takes two read here, then Woodslide probably made it here. And maybe I should have predicted that earlier, but... I wasn't super convinced until right now. Alright, um... I'm good on read for the rest of the game if I just reno twice. JFR and all that. Um, wolf means I might be able to get away with a three clay action. Will I give a brief explanation of how Mars works? Uh, sure. As I start, yeah. Uh, what would I put my theoretical Mars elo at? I don't actually know about base game. It's probably a little worse in base game compared to, like, the more expansions you throw in there until Turmoil. Um, but if, let's say, it has the same elo structure as Agricola, I'm probably, like, a 550. Like, I'm pretty good. Uh, wait, I said I wanted to do frickin', uh, 
wolf. It's only base game. Hey, Alex. This game's reinforcing your earlier point about wood slide. Everyone's trying to do big house stuff, so it's hard to do it without ruining fence tempo. That's fair. That's a fair point. Though, fence tempo has always been an important thing. And I would argue that it might or might not have been the Lutonist and Ebonist <laughs> plays partially responsible. Like, I feel I might have gone hard into um, just early barterer. On the other hand, Apiary, Seed Almanac, I understand why you would do it this way. It's a hard balance to strike. Not even Prelude. Yeah, look. It's got to start somewhere. The implementation has to start somewhere. I currently have two majors for the sake of debt security, so tight fences are fine. You're at 200. Too many expansions. A lot of the expansions are, uh, yeah. They have their uh, fans and anti-fans, I guess. Um, where are we at here? Should I just buy things again? I think so. So looks a lot easier to get this round. <laughs> the engine I have right now is so nuts. This engine is absolutely nuts. This is so insane. I supposed to buy a veggie here? I don't think so. Prelude and the maps and randomized milestones and awards. I think almost everyone doesn't have an issue with those. Venus, a lot of people don't like because it takes a while. It adds a while to the game. And I wasn't a fan on my first three plays of Venus. Three to five plays. After that point, I started really liking it, though. Uh, Colonies does add more time and makes the economy wildly different. And Turmoil alters the economy again and also takes more time. Turmoil is the one you're thinking of, Brendolin. I think the fewest people like Turmoil. It definitely has its fan club, though. Uh, hardware store? In round 11? The nice thing, Bland, is that any expansion limits the power of Tharsis and Ecoline, aside from just Prelude. But yeah, not having randomness on milestones and awards is pretty annoying on base map. Uh, okay, so... Refocusing for a sec here. The So looks just readily available. Who's gonna take it? Apiary's not gonna take it. 
Person who can't legally sew is not going to take it. Person who can't legally sew or bake is not going to take it. Bench it up. Plus wood pig. Oh my god, my game is so insane. Three stone would have been good. There's ten food here, nine food here, zero food here. This pig owner is happening. Plow is still open. I have too many actions. I don't need this many actions. What am I supposed to do with all these actions? We went with a uh, young farmer bench. And then we got past acquirer boar spear. And then we got oriental. This was going to be a totally fine and good second pick boar spear. And then I just didn't need it. <laughs> oh my god. And Wolf is Wolf new purchase with this crazy food is just better than playing Young Farmer right now, which is wild. Alright, there's a plow. So is being threatened very mildly, and that's enough for me. Uh, I do want this two wood action, which is three fences. But, and I also want this three stone action. Maybe I should just take the stone. Are you gonna sow one veggie? Why would you sow one veggie? You're not sowing one veggie. I'm hoping for four clay plus clay pig so that uh, I can have a fifth off. Yeah, the fifth one gets me stone oven parts. Yes, Rainier, I'm I'm a hypocrite in the business of trying to entertain all you fools. <laughs> DVLOT memeing. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, we did see Tea House. No, my two wood! My breeding pigs that I don't need to be breeding yet. No! Yeah, it's funny, because you look at two pigs in stage four and think that's breeds to five, that's perfect, and pig owner, it's perfect, but we actually have the extra one coming off of wolf. Oh, stone oven going is unfortunate. I was hoping for that. Uh, but it's fine. Uh... Me for two actions? I don't know. Uh, let's do this first. I guess I'll play that Ock. I could bake one for two. Not feeling it. Uh, and I could take clay pit <clears throat> to prepare. Oh no, the clay oven's also gone. So I actually don't need. 
the wolf clay anymore, but I need the wolf pig later specifically. Uh, wait, what was it? Joinery BMW still available? I think I might be able to get joinery. Uh, so this move is three sheep or ox. Maybe I don't have enough food yet. Alex, you were watching a VOD and I said I was be yeah, I, I finally got there. Arlock getting all these veggies sewn, I do like it. Um, I might have sewn a grain there, but uh, yeah, because they want a veggie to be sewn next stage so that it procs the ridger in stages five and six, and they also want three grain sewn for points. I guess they only need two grain sewn if they ebonist one more time. Before banning tree guard, just let you have it with wood cart and carpenter's bench first, or stone axe. You ruined the game because you had nothing else? Yeah, <laughs> doesn't sound great. Alright, well, I'm sitting here at 28 points. We are about to go into the stage 4 harvest. That sounds like a lot of points. This game has just been so easy. Um, I think I just fence tight. Because my capacity is... It's going to be fine. Like, I might be able to squeeze a couple more animals in. But I don't need to. I mean... I can hold 854 with tight and stables. Debt security is easy. This would be an amazing champion breeder, omni farmer. Yeah. Okay, so this coming round, yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to started, because it doesn't matter to me. Uh, a wood action is nice, but not necessary. The clay action is pretty necessary to reno. I can afford the joinery. It shouldn't be very contested. Um, taking wood seems like a fine first action. This staple gives me capacity for the third pair in case I, for some godforsaken reason, don't find fences. Um, maybe I'm supposed to take a stone? I'm not doing that math. Our lock hits cultivation, which they should be pretty happy about. Sewing one of each looks amazing for them here. Uh, but they just keep sewing veggies. I guess this this gets them to max veggies, so this is still probably right. Um, can't fault them there. Yeah, purple's... Uh, Got some difficult choices here and not enough actions. Not sure I get two wood back, but if I don't, it's fine.
clay, reno, stone, ock. <laughs> That's only the second proc of Hod in round 12 for early pigs. Unfortunate. Our lock is going to the hardware store. And I will, yeah, I mean, if I get the joinery, then I'll have the well and the joinery. It would be illegal to lose with both. I really should count, um, yeah, okay, so I'm three stones short of a stone reno. Stone clearing can get one for me if I need it. But three stone will just be on the board next round. Not really sure who wants well, I mean Bog wants it to Reno. Purple would be okay with it to Reno. I mean, I'm just miles ahead here. I don't really see how I lose this. Uh, unlike Rainier's game, I don't see any way for an opponent to beat mid-50s. So I should consider myself blessed in that aspect. I think Arlock is probably closest with the Wood Slide Reno and Wood Barterer for Fence Help. Might as well jump in the TM queue. I don't think it works like that. Uh, I could open up a turn-based, but then my opponents wouldn't need to move with any quickness. They finally take a move. We get our clay plus clay pig. We're gonna go last next round and I don't care. There's the mini pasture. Yeah, which I was unhappy to pass in the abstract, but it did make getting the two breeding pairs easy. And of course it was, it flowed perfectly in with the start build potential, which Bog couldn't defend against because of food. <laughs> mini pasture keeps going around. Yeah, like, this is very helpful to my opponents, this mini pasture. But again, we got such good value out of it. Can't complain. There are the fences. They are going to lose a point by taking Grove and not being able to equip the mini pasture, but that's like 
not a big deal. Uh, I think I just play Debt Security here, and I wait to see if I need to play Stone Clearing or not. It is somehow still not a Moonshine moment, go figure. It's ours, yes. That's not what I wanted to Reno with. <laughs> well, debt security revealed. Yeah, our lock did get to grow fence plow. <laughs> Seed almanac, good. Turns out. We, yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing there. <laughs> okay, so by accidentally showing debt security, and it was an accident, um, I am basically saying I'm very happy to start We'll see if anyone else does before I do. I'm not expecting to end with six cows, so I am happy to eat one of them here to repurchase stuff. I think I just buy the veggie. With both ovens gone, I don't see a reason to buy the grain now instead of next round. I don't expect to want so bake this round. Um, of course I don't actually need to plow again on a hypothetical first move next round. I think my game is just set well enough to where I can just cycle a food here instead of <laughs> anything else. This game has been going just fine, Merrick. And, uh, that is independent of <laughs> whoever's been in chat. It has been quite independent of anyone being in chat or not. This has just been the most insane tempo I've had in such a long time. Alright, I could definitely start here, but I think three wood's the funniest move, which is also possibly the best. Terraforming Mars is out of alpha, and that is why I'm going to be playing some right after this game. Yeah, the three stone is pretty valuable here, though I have to imagine the Plowso is also pretty valuable for everyone but Arlock. Why not fence four? Uh, because I'm planning on tight fences to end. Uh, taking another wood grab lets me discount my fourth pasture as well, which is better for joinery. Hopefully that makes sense. Our lock is now uh, fully ready to start wood slide. 
And it does look like I have a good chance of getting three stone here. With purple either starting for the team or doing something else. Yeah, so I'm happy to take one or even two more wood actions. Fencing finally gets taken here. With Stock Protector and Wood Barter, I felt like there was a good amount of fence tension and it just didn't resolve for a while. Even to Wood actions. Did I have a chance to take Urgent this round? No. Unless you count, I could have started the previous round. First or last. Last called. Oh, wow. Uh huh. That is uh, not the ideal hay dryer. Oh, schmog. Yes, this this in entire game has been the most dreamy. It couldn't really have been scripted any better. Wood slide hammer. Of course they're growing with it, so I guess I started prematurely. Uh, I still would have started, though. Cope. Yep, I can eat a cow. I can even eat a veg. I don't need to new purchase anything. I'm already triple debt securityed. Because Oriental Fireplace is a major if I want debt security to think it's a major. But, um... I'll trade the debt security point for a point container point on Plow So. Though I guess based on what I said, I could take So Bake instead. Uh, that just seems... Wholly unnecessary. Reno is not immediately pressured. Arlock almost certainly wants Ren Fence. What am I acquiring? Wait, if I don't need plow so more than so bake and maybe don't need either should i go for grow maybe i'm first action growing then it goes plow so wood I mean, so probably happens here. So if I want to so, I guess I'm only getting one of so and grow. Maybe start wasn't so important here.
We've also got the young farmer, so... option. And that one's very funny. Um... Because I think that option... The so comes with a moonshine where we don't play the ock, and just whatever we roll, we pass it along. <laughs> um, in light of that, is it better to buy anything here? Or do I risk... anything? Well, it has to be correct to buy the veg. Uh, wait. Uh, I'm. I need to acquire something, and that's not free. I thought I could eat a cow because I'm acquiring one back. Uh. No, it's fine. It's fine. I have enough ways to sow that I will try to get one of them. We're just netting a food one final time here. Is this game evidence? I don't think so. Like... There was some irresponsibility around the table. I mean, I definitely had some... good fortune... in getting to go first and staying first. This is not even close. This really isn't close. Arlock's Ren Fence is 15. And is basically fed here. Alright, cool. I accept. No more moonshine line. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that is a first pick cow prince. We had hay dryer and cow prince and acquire in this draft in different hands. Debt security is why we don't fence more, yeah. Partially. Generally, the acquirer idea is to get two food per round early and then breed or do some similar food engine. For example, you could go into veggies in stage two and try to sow veggies or something like that. Um, but yeah, the general line is cycle two food a bunch early cycle it enough, and hopefully your first fireplace too gets you the first sheep grab to really keep your food good enough to like breed cows in stage two, yeah. Your pet card right now is Open Air Farmer. Open Air Farmer's really fun. It's, I think, slightly worse in this format on average because getting rid of the stables is, you know, not actually good in high wood games. But, 
Um, it is cheap early capacity, and if you really need that, it's not that big of a opportunity cost. Um, okay, so I'm renoing. And right now I'm eating a point of food because I didn't eat a wood. If only I had the foresight to eat a wood. I just realized Moonshine is a uh, double hit to a lantern player. It can be a double hit to a lantern player. That's very funny. Maybe I realized that before and forgot. Um... I'm not... Oh, wait. You took that one? So you want a cookery? How about you don't have a cookery? Am I being mean? Yes. Are they also my closest competition? Yes. Two wood is a point. Any four food action is a point. Which means veg seeds, cattle market, traveling, not pig market. If it was Reedstone 2 food, then I might have taken that. This doesn't seem necessary. Yeah, this way we downgrade our locks. Because the, the hearth seemed kind of mandatory for them. Wait, no it's not. It's definitely not. Why didn't they take pigs there? The hearth isn't mandatory for them. They're only eating one point. Uh, anyway. I don't know, these are all the same. This game was as smooth as butter. It's the bench, man. It's definitely not all the bench, but... <laughs> the bench is so good. And then pair that with the very strong Acquirer Oriental nonsense. Ah, Stable Sergeant, of course. That makes the hearth even more sensible. Okay. <laughs> Our lock is the closest competition. And they will get to, uh... A solid score here. With the hearth, you always take the lutenist option, obviously. They are definitely fed, so they run over 10. 11. They're getting to 50. <laughs> Apiary Seed Almanac doing so much work over there. Wood Barterer, obviously great to justify all that wood slide nonsense. Uh, but I'm breeding four points, five points here. So I'm getting to 61. Arlock didn't realize Wood Barter activated on Ren Fence. Says misplayed. 
Well, it doesn't have an effect on the outcome. They are clearly into second place. Ceiling cards are important to have. Uh, what ceiling cards did I need this game? I'm winning by 11. And I would argue debt security is not all three here. It's two or even one. Um, and this goes back to a conversation that happened on the tier list videos and stream that the real ceiling is just so incredibly high that if you're maxing out other things extremely well, kind of doesn't matter if you have every ceiling card or not. You had a game where swim in class one for you. Nice. Um, but yeah, so if we count debt security as two because of Carpenter's Bench and the last round Plowso could have been a Plowso instead of Urgent for four instead of three, for example. Um, like these two, if we call them five points, then I'm winning by 11. And the well could have been a stone oven. I think us two trading well in stone oven didn't end up being a big deal. Majors and stables are definitely a part of it, too. Um, but those would not be things necessarily dealt with in the draft. Amazing read belt here, by the way. Um, and I mean, I could just be a bit of a chad and call it great resource management by me. But this read belt just was perfect for how things went. I mean, the way my farm looked at the end of, like, stage three and four was just so freaking powerful. I definitely was, like, easily winning at that point. Bog gets to have a five-point cow prince. Pretty cool. A lot more rush for stealing stage two and three, and then, yeah, that is definitely true. Part of it is that the more cards you have, the more you can get support to enable that. So stuff like capacity cards are really helpful for that kind of plan in general. And you're just more likely to find good capacity cards, um, for example, in a bigger draft. And that does give some credence to, like, rush the house, do farming on the side instead of the board, and then fill the farm late as the optimal Agricola strategy all else equal, if you can do it. But it's just so hard to do. And Draft 10 makes it easier. GG's indeed. When are we getting the Luminous chat emote? <laughs> I'm not convinced it's a good idea to actually have that emote. <laughs> but maybe it is. Uh... <laughs> this is funny. These three lines are hilarious. <laughs> oh gosh. Good times. Any Oriental Fireplace non-believers out there? I ate my first Oriental Fireplace Cow in round two, Esoteric.
Where are my cows? Excuse me. I ended with four cows. I didn't eat them all. I have as many cows as everyone else. Uh, it was that, Alex. Nobody started in round one, and I got to be start player. Um, if I wasn't start player, I would have two play fire placed round one. Um, because there was no need to risk losing two play. Um, but yeah, round two, I had access to two of the five good actions, and I was like, eh. You know what's better than that? <laughs> Effectively round one manservant, if I didn't grow. Because I got the food in round two. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is Acquirer at its best, more or less. All that early food let me start player read belt in round four holding zero read acquire a read in round five and still be able to buy a cow in round six yeah it was kind of hard at the time and i'm glad i did it now because it should not have been a hard decision like the way this turned out why would i ever refuse this why would i ever refuse this um and yeah, it was kind of funny how new purchase with that food surplus with a wolf just was easily better than playing that first pick young farmer. So uh, yeah, I think I think this goes on YouTube. I think the title is a clickbait title. Um, with this stat line. The word cattle blurred out. Title, round one manservant. And make people think this is food. Or food from cards. Yeah, that's what it is. I figured it out. Take good actions except when you shouldn't. Yes, exactly, Alex. So many rules. Rules are always meant to be broken, etc. All right. That was fun. To those of you watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. To those of you in stream, stick around for some Mars.